Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry if I look tired. I just got off work, so I might look a little tired. Either way, pushing through it, you know we're on the grind right now. Grant Dawson versus Joe Selecki. As we know, Joe Selecki coming off of the vicious knockout slam, or slam knockout of Jakar Close, where Joe Selecki was finished. Flatlined. Grant Dawson, 3-1-0. 0-1 oh, in his last five fights, 22, 20 wins, two losses, one draw to 13-4. and four. Minus 320 favorite, 30 years old, 5'10 with a 72-inch reach. Joe Selecki, 13-4, and 3-2 and two in his last five fights, plus two, 250 underdog. Also, 30 years old, be 31 in a few months. 5'9 with a 70-and-a-half-inch reach, 1-and-a-half-inch reach advantage for Dawson with one inch in height as well. This striking in this matchup, I don't think necess is necessarily going to be great, even though we may get a three-round striking fest because they're two good grapplers. Um, I, I I think on the bottom in the grappling aspects and getting them in you know wrestling transitions, grappling transitions, you know all these things, that's where this fight's going to be fun, I think, because like Grant Dawson is very very good when he's able to get your back or just get good positions on the ground. So like he is very good in transitions. Also getting guys down and kind of keeping them down there. So this this fight right here is one that definitely needs to be watched. I I personally think. I I also think that it, it could be a little bit of a sleeper for some reason for some people. Let's take a look real quick at the oops, at the stats. But yeah, th this fight is is a lot of fun to me. I'm a big fan of Grand Dawson. I know he just got he just lost by uh, KO against Bobby Green, but that's okay. Strikes landed per minute, 2.97 for Dawson, 2.21 for Selecki, 51 accuracy for Dawson, 56 for Selecki. Absorbed 2.27 to 1.53. Defense is 45 to 52 for Selecki. This is where it's interesting. Takedowns for a fight, 3.68 to 2.65. Accuracy is 36 to 50. Takedown defense is 40 to 50. Submissions for a 15 minute fight, one and a half to one and a half. The thing that it comes down to in this one is I just think Grand Dawson's fought better competition. I, I, I just think he's bought better, uh, fought, I'm bought, fought better competition. You look at it, again, came into the UFC with, you know, with one loss. He's 8-1-1, one, and, one, and that one draws against Ricky Glenn in a fight that he was doing well early, just ran out of gas later. 17 finishes for Grand Dawson. And, you know, again, he's fought Demir Ismagulov, Mark Madsen, Jared Gooden, uh, Le uh, Leonardo Santos, Nad Nermani, Derek Minner, Michael Trezano, which is an interesting one, Julian Rosa, Adrian Diaz. That was in the Contender Series. But again... He was actually supposed to fight Diego Fiera. Who I'm curious to see how that one would have played out. But again, Joe Selecki just hasn't fought the same level of competition. He's five and two. Um, like I said, he's been finished one time. He has nine finishes uh, in his record. Two finishes. He's been finished twice, but once in the UFC. Fought, fought Carl Deaton, which in a terrible fight. Alex De Silva, not great. Um, he fought Jared Gooden. Gordon, sorry. Ooh. Lost a split decision there. Beat Jim Miller. Beat Austin Hubbard. Beat Wyatt Weidman. And then uh, the Contender Series beat James Wallace. Just hasn't fought the same level level of competition. I like Grant Dawson in this one. I think he I think he gets it done. But a three to one favorite might have to throw a little bit on Selecki. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.